Hey guys, let's talk about bugs. <laughs> um, so I want to show you some books on bugs that I have and some bug pictures and bug information and we'll draw some bugs together. So first I have this bug book and it's pretty special. Let's see if you can tell why. This bug book is pop-up and it makes sounds for where you're seeing these bugs. So cool. So those first bugs were from the woods and fields. So some of those bugs were from the water and wetlands, some were from the desert. Oh no, these are from the desert. How cool was that? Those were rainforest bugs. So this book is really neat because it shows us the bugs and where they live. So speaking of bugs, I went to a museum one time and I saw an exhibit. So an exhibit is something that's put up at museums for people to go and see. And this one was called Biophilia. And you can see I bought the book at the museum about the exhibit. So the cool thing about it is that it had all these animals and bugs and they were arranged into these amazing patterns. So let's look at some of the pictures in the book. <laughs> My card bookmark. Butterflies. These kinds of butterflies are called blue morpho butterflies. And something cool about them is that their blue color in real life is very shiny. Now this is just a picture, so you know I can't show you. But if I had a real one, they seem to almost glow because of the, the way the blue is on their on their butterfly butterfly wings. So these are some of my favorite ones, which are full of butterflies, beetles, moths. All of those things you see are some kind of bug. So you can see how colorful bugs can be. How amazing their shapes can be. Pretty cool. Here's a close-up of some. So these beetles are also very shiny. If you see them in real life, they're like jewels. In fact, some of them are called jewel beetles. This one's pretty cool because it shows us a close-up of a beetle and so we can see what parts it has. The body. And the legs. Let's count the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. An insect, which is a kind of bug, has six legs. One, two, three. 
three, four, five, six. This beetle, it's kind of hard to tell, but underneath this shell it would also have wings so that it could fly. Ooh, some moths. So something cool about moths and butterflies is that their wings are exactly the same on both sides. They match. We call that being symmetrical. There's a moon shape on this side. Boop. There's going to be a moon shape on that side. They match. Look at these little guys. They're shiny and we can do our insect test on them. How many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six. And you might be like, what about these? Those aren't legs. Those are its antennas. You can see they're coming out of its head. Its legs are coming out of its body and that's how it walks. Close up of them. Oh, my cardigan. Look at all the colors and patterns they can have. I like this guy with the squares. Oh, here's some more of those blue morpho. And beetles. Ooh, if we look close, this beetle has its shell open to where its little wings are hidden. Oh, look at these beetles. Okay, so this bug is a leaf bug. If we look close, we can tell that even though this looks exactly like a leaf, it's really a bug. It's got its head there, and this big leaf is actually its body. And these leaves are actually its feet. So we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. This bug is camouflaged. That means it can hide. It's hiding from things that might want to eat it up by pretending to be a leaf. It's a pretty good costume. It's a pretty good disguise. Disguise. These beetles have big pinchers. on their heads. Some of them can move their pinchers and some of them, their pinchers just stay still and they use them to bump into things. Ta-da! More close up of some beetles. So that's pretty cool. These are some bugs you might see. So I thought what we could do is flip through my big bug book here. It's pretty thick. And draw some bugs we see. And maybe learn some bug facts along the way. Um, and, and we'll start with some simple stuff. First. We already saw on the beetle the parts of a bug and how many legs they have. But here is a version where we can actually see the parts separated. So this little bee, they've taken his parts and moved them so that we can see a little better. He's got a big part of his body, a middle part of his body, and a head. And these have special names. This part of his body is called a thorax, and this part's called an abdomen. But that's too hard for you to remember. You can just remember that it has a head and two parts of its body. We already talked about how he has six legs, so let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. This guy does have antennas on his head, and bees have wings. A lot of bugs have wings, but not all of them. All right. Let's try out drawing a bee. So, get your paper ready. So 
I said, he's got a body with two parts, a head, and six legs. I'm going to draw him a little simpler than this. It might be kind of hard to draw him like that. So let's just draw from what we know. We're going to draw an oval. Now on this oval, let's make a circle right next to it. And you know what? We're going to do that again. Boom! It kind of looks like a silly snowman, but it's not going to be. Okay. Next, we're going to make uh, some big loops for his wings. Whoop! Whoop! Let's go on to this circle and add two eyes. Bees have antennas, so let's put him an antenna two. All right, now his six legs. This is going to be the trickiest part because we already put his wings, so his legs are going to be a little bit hidden. His wings are on top and his legs are hidden underneath. So I'm going to make two legs poking out first on the side. One, two. Now, over here, we can put two more peeking out down here. One, two. But four legs is not enough. We know an insect, like a bee, has six legs, so we need two more. So I'm going to make the last two just little tall, poking out on the sides where the wings don't cover them up. Let's check and see if we did it right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect six legs. Hmm. Ooh, butterflies. You know what? I think we'll save butterflies for next lesson because we've got so many bugs to draw. I think we're going to have a whole one just on butterfly and moths. So let's skip ahead to another kind of bug. Oh, beetles again. Okay, so let's look at this beetle. Body, and the two parts. Got a big part and a little part. And his head. Can you see? Let me do it this way. Body, little part of his body, and his head. And then we've got his legs. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six! That one's almost hidden. And his long antennas, one, two. I think this will be great. Let's draw a beetle. So, I'm gonna come over here. Let's make another oval. Kinda like when we did our bee, 
we're going to do the same sort of thing. Put a part of a circle. And again. But for our bee, he, we had the wings out because bees don't have shells. This is a beetle. He's got a shell. So we don't have to draw his wings. In fact, what we can do is go on our oval and put a line straight down the middle. So now we see that he's got a shell that's closed up hiding his wings. Let's go on his head and put some big eyes. And how about some antenna? Make these ones long. Long and wiggly. Now for my favorite part, six legs. One. Two. Six. And the fun thing about beetles is you can put designs all over their shells. So you can do that yourself. Ooh, here's some more beetles. Look at this guy with his big horn. Hmm. Do you want to draw a beetle with a horn? We did a regular beetle. Hmm. Oh, you might notice on the beetle with a horn, it's hard to see his different body sections. It kind of looks like one big oval because the sections are connected. Let's try it. A big oval. Now the fun part, put a point finish his little head. Now since the sections are stuck together, let's put a line to show that there are actually two sections. One, two. On this one, I can see the, the crack where his two shell hide his wings, so I'm going to go ahead and add that too. Now, in this picture and the way I'm drawing him, we can't really see all six of his legs. Look, one, two, three, four, five, and these are horns. So I can only see five of his legs, even though we know bugs that are insects have six. So uh, I'm only going to do the three on this side and say the other side are hidden. So if he has three legs over here and his body's in the way, we can't see them, right? We can only see the ones on this side. So let's go ahead and add one.
two. Three legs. And the other legs are over there somewhere. We can't see them. His big body's in the way. All right, I'm going to finish by adding his eyes. And I didn't add these big horns on top this beetle has. So I'll go ahead and add a horn here and a horn there. All right, let's see, do we have time for one more bug? Okay, yes, let's do a ladybug. Ladybugs are beetles and they're super cute and they are drawn really fast, so let's go for it. We'll put an oval. almost a circle huh that's okay we'll put just one little bump because again the ladybug it's hard to see the different parts of the body they're all hidden by the shell okay we're gonna put a line down the middle <clears throat> then we need one two three four five six legs we can see them all and we'll go ahead and add one two eyes and the antennas And then the fun thing about ladybugs is you get to add spots. So I'm going to add five spots. One, two, three, four, Okay guys, I hope you had fun drawing some bugs and learning about bugs and seeing tons of pictures of bugs uh, and insects. Uh, and I think we'll do some more later, but for now, this is the four that we got done. Bye.